Well, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at locust wild honey we are going to be doing the locust and wild honey official outfit battle cargo, cargo edition cargo. Cargo. now if you guys do like the concept of today's video we're definitely down to keep it going and i think next time around we're talking about doing a jordan one outfit challenge video yes sir be sure to like today's video comment down below if you'd like to see that happen mm -hmm. and uh Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this challenge. Let's get it started. First up, we have Matthew as well as Wes. Man, these are, first off, two amazing outfits. Yeah. Uh, I think both, we can say that we would actually wear both of these outfits for sure. Absolutely. First off, and we just got to go off with the center swoosh hoodies because we know how we feel about that. Uh, on an everyday basis, I feel like that's something that I would wear personally. Okay, so so Matt on Matt's side. I, I'm on I'm on Matt's uh, just because of the. I mean, I love me some uh, Olivia Kim vintage oh. center swoosh hoodies because that looks like an Olivia Kim one. I think it is. So I or would, it could be the Locust Wild Honey special. Or it could be that. Might be a little bit better. Might be even a little better actually. So. Yeah, Wes did his thing with this outfit. Uh -huh. I will say, while I would probably wear it like on a more <laughs> casual daily basis, yeah. I would probably go with Matthew's outfit. This would be something I would just, you know, just kind of throw on. Mm. But with regard to Wes's outfit, I feel like, I feel like this is this is a guy who has like classic style. Yeah. Like you got that. You you have the visbims. Like yeah. That was that was a segment in time. That was a beautiful time of streetwear. Yeah, for and sure. I might as go as far as to say that, with regard to visbims, that's almost nostalgic. I mm -hmm. mean, it was only like five or six years ago when those were really really popping. Yeah. But to me, that was such a great time in streetwear that it feels nostalgic, and that's what this outfit like says to me. And so. While I might wear Matthew's outfit more, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give the green light to Wes because of the feeling that it uh, provides. You know, I'm going to give it to Matthew Ooh. just because I think he did something different that I've never seen. Even though I see Wes's outfit is super clean and I would definitely wear me some sweater, center swoosh hoodies. Uh, yeah, I think Matthew really kills it on this one. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go with Matthew. Okay, so there, obviously there's only two of us and there's nobody right. here to break the tie. So this is where we call upon you guys. Please. Yeah, so <laughs> there's gonna be example, some tough ones. To cast your vote, just say for outfit battle one, I want my vote goes towards Matt or or towards Wes. You really can go either wow. way with these, yeah. honestly. This is a really um, a good first, uh, first battle right here. Okay, so next up, we had to give this one its own special segment because there is this kind of this stigma that in the Locust Wild Honey Facebook group, we all dress the same. Yeah. And while that's not exactly lying, <laughs> we do have a little bit of diversity in yeah. the group. And there's I've, there's nothing that I love more than a clean pair of Ricks being worn. We have Charbel versus Ash. Ash. We got a couple of Rick Owens yeah. sneakers being styled in their mm. own respective ways. And uh, the question I pass on to you, sir, mm. who wins this outfit battle? I mean, really, you just have to look at it, uh, like, like you said, two different ways of being it styled. Ash looks like he's going like that, um, like that normal, like Rick Owen type of like outfit, you know? Cause like mm. he, of course with Rick Owens, I feel like, like monochrome, monochrome, you wear a lot of black, a lot of dark uh, shades. And I feel like he's going with that like classic Rick Owens uh, feel. So I mm. really like, I even like the chain that he has right there. That's, that's, that's actually really sick. So he stayed true to the artist. Exactly. Which I feel, yeah. Exactly. I actually, I like that point. Yeah. I think he's staying true with that. I would, I would have to say for me, I mean, I like going classic. I'm gonna have to go with Ash. I'm wow. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna have to go with I'm Ash. I'm really surprised by, yeah. your, by your vote. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I go with Ash. You. Okay, so in my humble opinion, both, I mean, I, I think you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. I think Ash really did stay true to that Rick Owens aesthetic, more yeah. of that darker monochromatic yeah. style silhouette. But with that to say, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Charbel. Oh. And the reason being is that, as you said, yeah. um, I do like the way that he styled the, the, the Ramones here, yeah. where he let them be covered. A lot of the times, like there's this like shunned ideology that you're not supposed to cover your sneakers. Exactly, it's like yeah. half the flex. Yeah. And I just love that. I love a subtle flex. No, yeah, for I sure. I love that. him willing to cover up a really expensive pair of sneakers and wearing them how he sees fit because to me this is individuality yeah um and there's nothing wrong with wearing things the way the designer 
like propose it's just really oh, just for sure. how you how you personally style yeah. but i like what charbel did here uh, i do love the popsicle color mm. uh, with the smiley and then the blue the blue mm. accent working with uh the bandana there and then fleece i just i just love fleece jackets are so yeah cozy. for sure <laughs> so that yeah like that's so weird so we have two ties okay two ties so i'm telling you guys that's where you guys really have to let us know down in the comment section please like and this wasn't planned at all no 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 we're, we're literally going off the whim all right so next up we have Which an this og one? versus an og okay we have zach against jose okay here we go yes battle here we go the beards Ooh. battle of the men battle of the titans yo okay okay they both got, let, i love it the beards the let's beards. just talk about the beards the beards uh yeah those are some nice he healthy shiny beards right thick. there thick very thick beards. two c's two thick. c's <laughs> i mean look at him dude he, he's got a beard comb I love, I, I love that. I love that. You got to flex the beard comb, man. You got to have to give it one time for my guy, Zach. I think Zach really executes everything really well. I think uh, the um, the Sherpa denim jacket uh, it really hits nice with like, looks like some sage cargos. Uh, you gotta, gotta give it up for the drawstrings. I mean, the drawstrings are always dope. I don't know what, what shoes are those? I think they, they, they might be looking like Yeezys from here. I, I think they I, look like Vans. Maybe Vans or something. Sure. I can't see from here, but uh, I'm gonna have to go with, with Zach. Honestly, he's a great guy. He's always super, super encouraging, encouraging yeah. you know, in the, in the community. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to give it to Zach for, for this, dude. He's a... He, he does a really good job. All the like, we aren't clicking today, bro. <laughs> we are not clicking today because oh. I love Zach. I, I agree with everything that you yeah, said. Yeah. He's so encouraging yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Always has something nice and positive to say about literally everybody. And he, he's just very open to like showing like, you know, what he has to showcase to everyone. And he mm. loves gathering different opinions. The reason why I'm gonna have to go with Jose is because to me, I, I I get like this is like a, a Kanye outfit. Yeah. Like, do you see that with like the tone? Oh no, for sure. And the wave runners. Oh yeah, and yeah. And then like like you know just like a, like that vintage blue hat. Yeah, I, I love that together. actually. You know, I'm actually I might need me to get a hat like that. Yeah, I'm it's, not, I'm it's definitely lie. very clean. And while I do like Zach's outfit is like a classic outfit. You got the you got the khaki pants, yeah. black tee, Sherpa denim jacket. Yeah. And come on, somebody, you are combing your beard for the camera. There we go. Come on, there yeah. must be. There might be 10 people in all of human history that's ever taken a picture while combing their beard. This and he's one of them. Lit, love this, but I'm going to have to go with Jose. Jose, so. oh my gosh. And guys, okay. I swear, we, we did not plan on disagreeing <laughs> at all. Jesus. Like, we're going right off the okay. off the whim, but... Okay. Let's see. Oof. Oh. Oof. Oh. We got Tim Rivera Tim? versus Cool Cat. Cool Cat. With a K. Ooh. I like that. I like that name. Is that really your name? Cool. Cool Cash. I love that. These are both so tough. Yeah, those are tough. These are both such they tough They both outfits. have two Jeez. sneakers that I still actually really want to this day. I think on this one, I'm going to have to go with Tim. I'm going to have to go with Tim. I love the accent of the brown and the green uh, and the shoes, of course. I think from what it looks like, the shoes, of course, have corduroy and the oh, what's the, what's that other material that's on there? Suede? Suede Vel uh, velour. Yes, yes, it's got that, and I feel like his pants are velour. Ooh, I think they are. Got some nice textures there. Yeah, a lot of texture, and I'm all about that. I love, I love, okay. I love how everything sits. He's uh, I'm gonna have to give it to that just because, like, you know what? I love me some green now. I like green. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> hey, you know what? Fair enough. And guess what, Aldo? We don't agree again. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Are you? Let me start are with you this. Kidding? Let me start with this. Okay, okay. Tim's outfits on 10. Dude, it's A1. Both of these outfits are on 10. Yeah. Like, in a, in their own respective ways, different ways, but dude, I, I would wear either of these. Right. Both so, so tough. Right. And, and for me, it's like splitting hairs. Yeah. But the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and roll with Cool Cash. Mm -hmm. Cause he's cool. <laughs> it's not because of his really nice name. Yeah. I, I like that's a really cool name. Yeah. I probably wouldn't gift to you PayPal gift to name Cool Cash. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, back to the outfit. I think he really did execute this idea of tying colors together. While Tim does nice color coordination, and that's definitely a really big part of yeah. dressing. Uh -huh. Um, I feel like matching is cool still too. I feel like mm -hmm. it's something that like some people will over abuse and only use. Oh, for sure. But yeah. I think in this situation here, uh, with regard to Cool's outfit, I think 
it's really tastefully done. Yeah. I think it's really tastefully done. I, like with the Jordan 4s, um, with tying in with the t-shirt yeah. and then just the touch of that denim. Mm -hmm, for sure. I really think he killed this. Yeah. Um, Dude, come on, he's wearing essentials. Yeah. He can't be a Jerry boy. <laughs> he's outside with this guy already. <laughs> so I mean, I'm just gonna let my, 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 my true colors hang out. Okay, for sure. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling with yeah. cool cash, man. That's just a sick outfit, I'm sorry. But I mean, Tim's sick too, so. Yeah. Again, comment down below. Comment down yeah. below. Break break this tie. Break it down. This really isn't intentional. I swear. Yeah. yeah. These are heavy hitters. These are heavy hitters. Yeah. Heavy hitters right here. I, I, I feel like I saved the two best for <gasps> These are a couple of my favorites. Ooh. Oh, man. This, this, this is WrestleMania right here. Yeah. This is this is the championship grudge match. Yeah. In a oh, cage. Oh, man. Hell in a cell. Hell in a cell, By huh? By Dr. Seuss. Okay. Right off the bat. We got Chavi versus Red. Okay. Right off the bat. Chavi. Oh! He should go, he should go straight, straight, straight to it. A straight conclusion. Talk I, about it. Talk about Chavi. it. Chavi. I love Chavi because, dude, now I feel like I'm going with the things that I feel like I see myself wear. Not saying I wouldn't wear what Ray is, is wearing, but with Chavi, like, that's something that I have in my wardrobe currently right now mm -hmm. and that I would feel comfortable wearing. I love like just like how the flannel sits on him. It's yeah. almost like cropped, but it's still uh, a little baggy on him, which I do really love. And those, I, I think th those are even minimal. I think th those minimal uh, track trousers, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the Western snap. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the Western snaps. I think those really hit nice with even like, those look like the root sneakers. Those look like the rude bandana sneakers that I still need and really love. Uh, yeah, man. I think everything just works out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to give it a shot, dude. Okay. Well, with regard to Ray's outfit, man, oh man, you he, know how hard it is to make those shoes look. I good. was just gonna say that those. You know yeah. how hard it is to make those I've never, ugly shoes look decent. That's why this is a heavy hitter outfit challenge right here. You, like, I never seen like sneakers like that. And especially being uh, Virgil uh, himself yeah. didn't make those look good. Yeah, exactly. No, he Ray, doesn't even wear them. Ray. His own shoes, he <laughs> won't even wear them because he knows they're ugly. But somehow Ray made them look good. So yeah, I mean, with Ray's outfit, you got the Ty Tigras, or I'm not 100% sure what the model name is called. Yeah, that's how irrelevant they are. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, man, these shoes are extremely difficult to make look good and. Right. Yeah, the way he styled it, I love the, like, when I kind of talked about earlier, color coordination. In this situation, he's doing a little bit of color contrasting. Yeah. Letting the color pop out. Letting the shoe really be the statement piece. Yeah. And oh, I appreciate for sure. that. No, I, for sure. Like, a lot of times, people will oversaturate their outfits with, mm. like, bait and supreme. Off-white. Uh, Off-white. Yeah. And, and they just put, they just, it's like a, it's like a culmination it's like a it's like a, a big vomit pool cesspool <laughs> of brands yeah but in my humble opinion this is really tastefully done it is and really tasteful he's done. not doing it in a sense that like the flex is so light on this is yeah. that he's flexing off white shoes that you know aren't the, the most hype the ones that end up at the outlet but he made them look sick and i appreciate yeah. that and yeah I, like you said the calabasas crew yeah fire Love the pants. Yeah. Love the shirt. Love this outfit. And guess who I'm going with? Chavi. Chavi. Oh, yeah. Chavi. Oh, yeah. Chavi. Oh, yeah. The reason being now, Ray, I love this outfit. Clean. I stand <coughs> by me. everything that I said. It's hard to make these look. It's good. really hard. But the nail for me, like the kicker for me, mm -hmm. Chavi's outfit has that pop of color. It ties in all really well together. Yeah. But one definitely. detail that is kind of subtle. Yeah. And I, I know- Cream comes, laces? Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that in and of itself, yeah. win. Yeah. Bro, but um, this might get roasted or people might get upset because this has nothing to do with the outfit. Dude, I mean, you got pops of red in the background That's, with the hat. Okay. So he thought about this, yeah. he thought about the outfit. Yeah. He dressed around his background yeah. with the hat and man, I love his outfit. Yeah, they yeah. both killed it. Yeah. Again, this is splitting hairs here. Yeah. Like both of these outfits are, are so so gassing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, 
I, I'm, I'm rolling with Chavi yeah. too. So finally we Same. agree on okay, something. Okay, finally. At least it was in the championship round. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're not even championship round, but just like the last outfit. Comment down below. Do you guys agree with us? Yeah. Who won this outfit challenge? I want to hear what you guys have to say down below. I'd like to hear you guys actually number them in one comment. Oh, or yeah. multiple comments, however you want to do it. Um, it's a free country. And uh, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, dude. I can't wait to do this again, but for Jordan 1. Jordan 1. Jordan 1's gonna be sick, It's dude. gonna be so cool. And one thing you, that we did touch upon, that you touched upon is, and I really do appreciate this, is um, it's funny how like the Locust and Wild Honey group has evolved and uh -huh. been become really diverse. Yeah, for um, sure. Because there are people that like, you know, wear a certain brand and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And there's that segment for that. And yeah. there's a segment for people who just wear vintage. And I just love how eclectic yeah. our group is. So in light of that fact, how eclectic our group is and how mm -hmm. people's styles have changed and stuff, mm -hmm. I can't wait to see how you guys oh, style for sure. Jordan ones. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Be sure to like today's video if you wanna see the Jordan 1 styling challenge for the Locust and Wild Honey Facebook group. That might help get a little bit of inspiration for others of you out there. Mm -hmm. I know seeing these pictures here it inspired me. I think you no, probably say sure. the same. Yeah. This was a ton of fun. Yep. Um, we love this community and that's what I love. This is more than a channel. Mm -hmm. um, this is more than a monologue. This is a dialogue and be sure to comment down below as well who won, who you agree with, who you don't. And uh, yeah, guys, we really do appreciate the continued support. I'm so sorry this video took so long to do. Guys, once again, thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel once again. And as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed. <laughs> Noise! <laughs> you like that? Yes, it's like that. I pretend I was a TikToker for You're a, a second. You're a TikToker? Do they do that? They no, they do that. No, this is what they do on TikTok.